Good morning for another home vlog, of course. Home vlog. Home vlog. Uh, today, we have got stuff to do around the house. We do. We have some fun, sort of like home improvement DIY-ish type stuff. We say that. It's a very simple stuff that we're doing. Yeah, but it's going to make the house look totally different, I think. Gonna make the house look brighter yeah. and more inviting. I'm excited. Uh, I did want- Oh, really quick. But we're also gonna make a fun dessert. Yeah. Like an easy, super easy dessert. Real easy. Yeah. Uh, also, I had to run to the grocery store again today because I, we forgot like two things on our grocery list. Mm -hmm. And it was completely different today than it was yesterday. He was sending me pictures. I'm gonna insert some of the pictures in right here. But like, it was empty. Yeah. Like scary looking like picked clean yeah um i know that they are going to restock the shelves so it's not going to be empty for like ever but it just is a scary sight right but i would say if that's the situation that you guys are are having where you're at just know that they are going to restock the shelves right there's nothing preventing the trucks from getting to the stores yeah so like they do have supplies coming it's just people are kind of doing what's panic they're panic buying right and so that's emptying out the stores because what stores do is they buy just enough for the day so that they don't have extra stock everywhere. Well, I don't know if it's, <clears throat> is it for the day or is it yeah. like for the week? For the truck. Okay. I think it depends on which store because I know that some stores get trucks twice a week, okay. three times a week, once a day. Gotcha. Like Walmart gets a truck every day because Walmart controls their own trucking lines. Okay. So it's, a, it's all interesting stuff. I would, but I would say like, Cause I think I fell into the trap of like, oh my gosh, should we be buying more food? So when you see others panic buying, it kind of makes you subconsciously want to panic buy as well. Cause right. you, you think like, well, maybe they know something I don't know, or maybe there isn't going to be more food, but I just have to kind of remind myself like everything will be okay. There will be more food. Right. So we did just to kind of um, be on the safer side, we got like a 10 pound bag of rice and um, some bags of beans. Right. Just in case we need to eat those at some point, we, yeah. have, we have them. And then if we don't, we can always donate them. Yes. And we actually still have all of our food that we got from when the hurricane was supposed to come. Yeah. I don't even know if you guys remember that. That was like a few months back. Mm -hmm. um, we were supposed to get a storm. We never really got the storm. So we bought a bunch of stuff for that. Yeah. So, so we're still like pretty stocked up. Yeah, yeah. So toilet paper will be back in stock. I know that it's out of stock right now. But there is nothing preventing toilet paper from going back in stock, aside from people buying it. I do think that's such a strange thing to hoard. Mm -hmm. Like, food I get. I get why people are panic buying the food. But like, toilet paper? Yeah. I don't know. I know we talked about this yesterday too. Another thing that I wanted to mention that kind of made me sad that I was reading about that I didn't even think about um, is that people are panic buying and hoarding baby formula. Right. And that is something that... Um, I don't want to cry. Like it makes me so sad because that is taking away from people who need the formula. Like, right. like don't hoard baby formula. Right. If you, I don't know. There are just a lot of people who, um, you know, aren't able to get to the store like right now or like that they can't buy the formula. Right. And they're going to go without and like some babies need formula to live. Like they, like for me, I wasn't able to breastfeed right away. Um, so, so Jackson, like I pumped, but he did also supplement with formula because I wasn't producing enough milk. Right. Like I, once I was starting, once I was able to breastfeed, like once I was finally able to, to give him breast milk, I still wasn't producing enough milk and we were supplementing with formula. Right. So, um, just think about those people who need the formula. Right. You know? And so, sorry, I don't mean to get emotional, but I was reading about it and it made me really sad. Right. So, um. Sorry. It's hard. No, it's really hard. It makes me really, really upset that there are people out there that are just buying these things that other people really need, you know, just so that they can have 10 cases in their pantry, you know, and just try to think about the people who also need these things. Like we need to be considerate of other people and we need to remember to share these really um, important items. Right. So buy just normal amounts of stuff. Yeah and everything will be okay. Yeah. Sorry, I don't mean to get emotional. I'm sorry. I know this is like a tough time and I'm not making it easier for anybody, but it just made me really upset. Right. So, home vlog. Home vlog. <laughs> I just wanted to pop outside really quick and show you guys how beautiful of a day it is here in Florida. 
I also wanted to show you guys our prosperity pig. Oh buddy, one of these days we have to throw him into a lake, but he is all dried out and looking like a horror film or something. Like, oh, look at his mouth. All right, here it is. This is what we got for our little home improvement project. We got new blinds for all of the downstairs in white because all of the blinds down here are brown. And we're thinking maybe if we replace them with white, it'll make the room a little bit brighter, a little bit more inviting, and Bandit will like it a little bit better. Right, buddy? You have like a little fort over here. This is like his little spot. He loves to sit over here, huh? He does. He used to love to sit over here. As you guys can see, we have all of these blankets here for him. But now... Now you love to sit right here. Yeah, oh, you're my good boy. And he's got a new spot. Yeah. Tell everybody how good you're doing. No. No? Okay. Well, he is doing good, even if he doesn't want to tell you. Yeah. He's starting to get a little bit more used to the uh, loud thing that is Jackson. Oh, yeah. And he's, like, gone up and licked his little toes every once in a while. Yeah. But for the most part, every time that Jackson cries a little bit, Bandit's like, nope. He runs over here to his fort. Too loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I've already done this white window here. And the brown is over here. I think the white definitely looks better. It lets in way more light, which is nice. So that's good. <laughs> And I think the other thing that I like too about the white ones is that they don't have a cord. So like, you see how these have these, these cords hanging down here that you would use to like adjust them? These you just kind of like pull down on, they're spring loaded. So there are no extra hanging bits. Is this little baby gonna play on his activity mat? Are you wearing a banana outfit? Say yeah, mom, I am. What? I just dropped my phone, don't pay attention to me. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Uh, um, I'm excited to see what this window looks like with the white. Yeah. I think it's gonna be so nice in this room. And then this one over here too, but I think they're both gonna look so much better. Yeah. But also, so this is my office and it's pretty dark in here right now, but I think putting the white here is gonna be super nice too. But all of the furniture is black. So that's I think another thing that sort of darkens up the room a little bit. We but, call this your layer. Yeah, I don't really use it right now because we're sort of doing some organizing and it took up a lot of the workspace, but one day I'll use it. One day. So now, right now my office is the living room couch. Yes. Yeah. It's been a little bit of time since we had Jackson and his snug -a puppy. I forgot how much he loves this little mobile up here where it's moving around. He really enjoys it. Also, he loves his little pink thing, his little nubby. Yeah, who's that smiling boy in his banana suit? Look at you. All right, so, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna get started making the dessert. Tim is walking around with the little baby. He's a little bit tired right now and yeah, we had some lunch, we had some sandwiches, it was delicious. <laughs> He's gonna do a drive-by wave. He's like, ah, ah, ah. But um, hopefully we will be able to finish the, sorry, I totally trapped you. Hopefully we'll be able to finish the blind project here. I just, I feel like normal things are taking us just so much longer now with the baby because it's really hard to, I, it's just hard, everything's hard. Babies are hard. Yeah, I mean in the best way, like it's it's a nice, situation to be in because we love him so much, but he is just so grumpy right now. Right, Look my little grumpy he boy? Is. He he's, is. He's yeah. And then Bandit's just like following everybody around and he's like, me, I'm tired. You wanna put me in the carrier? I'll put him in the carrier. You wanna bounce me around? I'll hate it. I know he would totally hate it. So that's what's happening right now. And now it is time to make the dessert. So we're doing this, it's like a depression era recipe and it's just a slow roasted apple with this fun mixture inside. And then we put it in our slow cooker and we've got our tools that we need, but we're gonna need some butter, some salt, some pecans, which we're gonna chop up, brown sugar. It's said to use ground ginger, but instead I'm using this pumpkin pie spice. Hopefully that'll be delicious. We don't have ground ginger, so I'm just improvising with that one. Ground cinnamon, and then we have our apples. And the tools that we need are a quarter cup measuring cup, a tablespoon, um, this, we're supposed to have a melon ball or this is what we use for cookie dough. I don't know if it's the right size, but we're just gonna make it work. And then our little nut cruncher thingy. 
and of course the slow cooker. So, you wanna help me? Yes. Okay, so first we're gonna put our ingredients in the bowl. We're gonna do six tablespoons of butter. Oh, that's a lot of butter. Is that a tablespoon? Sure. Okay, you think that's six? Yeah. Yeah? A little bit more. I mean, extra butter can't hurt, right? Yeah, there we go. This is gonna be the base, so we want it to be like nice and buttery. Oh yeah. So it says to use a quarter cup of Capricorns. Oh, but it like it's it measures it out here. Oh yeah. So we got this cool thing, which I think your mom bought for us a while ago, and we actually surprisingly used it a ton when I used to make bread, because I used to make like nut bread. Um, we haven't used it since I've made bread. That's been a long time. But now we're gonna use it for these apples. Oh. So. How about them apples? I'm gonna start with this much. Um, if I can find this on Amazon, I will link a similar one or the same one down below because this thing is pretty cool. Um, do you think it needs to be fine? Yeah, it's too fine, right? Because okay. it's going inside the apples. Ooh, this is so cool. Do you see it working? Sort of. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna have to crunch so many nuts. It's nut crunching time. <laughs> it is. Look, that's not even close. It is close. It's a quarter cup right there. Okay, I'm gonna do some more though. What do you think? Well, you gotta like... You keep like doing this. You're like, no, that's I'm a quarter to... cup. <laughs> yeah, I think you're it's probably no, a quarter. I think doing it's that. probably a quarter cup. What the heck? You got to put it on the table and do it. I think it's fine. Yeah, it's good enough. Okay. Then we dump that in. Oh, this is gonna be so good, you guys. I'm so excited. And we had most of this stuff in the pantry already, so this is a very easy recipe for us. But like, also, it's cheap if you don't have the stuff. Like, it's cheap to go get this stuff. Um, then we're gonna do a quarter cup of some old-fashioned oats. Old-fashioned oats. Yeah, what makes them old-fashioned? They uh, tie an onion to their belt, <laughs> which is the style of the times. <laughs> That's a Simpsons reference. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna do some quarter cup of brown sugar. Oh yeah. Which will be delicious. Brown sugar, why do you taste so good? Because you're delicious. Ooh, okay, this brown sugar is kind of old, I think. Compact. Yeah. So is that what we want it to be, like press it down or no? Uh, I never know. Okay, well is that good? Yeah, it looks good to me. Mmm. Yeah, this is gonna be I good. like how it looks like kinetic sand. Do you guys see that? I thought you were gonna say Connecticut. Looks like Connecticut. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> um, okay, now. Is that, is kinetic sand just brown sugar? I think it's, it would be very sticky if it was just brown sugar, right? Yeah, I think it's it's a sand with a, some sort of polymer in it. Like, is brown sugar a polymer? No. Science. I think it's like uh, like like sand with, with dish soap in it. What's a, is that really what it is? You know how we like put dish soap into slime and they're like, this is the polymer. That's what made it smell bad, I think. Yeah. Um, okay, now we're gonna do the ground cinnamon. Okay. All right. And then we need a fourth of a teaspoon of the other thing, so. Okay. Isn't that what you pulled out? A, four, a quarter of a teaspoon? I don't, yeah. here's something, why do you always say a fourth of a teaspoon? Because that's what it is. It's a quarter. One fourth, see right here. Yeah, one quarter. One fourth. One quarter. <laughs> tomato, potato. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> okay, so then I'm gonna do this pumpkin pie spice. I'm doing this instead of the ginger. So this is a blend of cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, allspice, mace, and cloves. Mace? What is that about? What? what? I don't know. What's mace? You ever gone to you ever gone to Spice Island though? I have not. I'm gonna go today. We're going to Spice Island, Charlie. <laughs> um, okay, and now we're gonna mix. Oh no, now I need some salt. A pinch of salt. Just a pinch. I'm gonna think I'm gonna put a little bit more. All right. Well, you guys see that down in there? There's a little, little pinch. Okay. And then we need the apples and. They're right there. Yeah. So let me mix this up. I don't know if this will work. Why not? Because I think I need to mix it up with something that's more hefty. See how it's like not really mixing. You need you need you need a fork. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, okay. you, you want me to do this? I, I'm good at baking. Yeah, you are good at baking, do it. All right. Wait, hold on, let me get these. Gotta make sure you get all that mace in there. <laughs> what, what is mace? I'm gonna have to Google that, because that's weird. It's a, like a early 2000s wrapper. Well, yes, <laughs> that's also true. Wow, you're doing so good. I'm making this butterball. So this is what's gonna go inside of our apples, and I'm very excited to see how this turns out. Just like a big ball of butter. So now we're gonna cut the tops off the apples and use a, I don't have a melon baller that wants me to use a melon baller. I have a cookie dough scoop. So I'm gonna use the cookie dough scoop to get the core out, and then we put this stuff in the middle of the apple, 
put it in the slow cooker for two hours on high, and then we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. This sounds real interesting. Yeah, it's gonna be good. So you're cutting the tops off the apples. Yes, and then I'm going to core the apples. I think that's too big. I think it is too. So Let's... do I just use like a knife, like a little knife, and just kind of like, like very carefully. Oh God, be so careful. I know, I feel like I'm gonna cut myself. You know what I'm gonna use? I know what I'm gonna use. All right, good call, good call, good call. Okay, I'm gonna use this guy. You're using a peeler, like a potato peeler. Yeah, but you don't want to go all the way down. That's the only hard part. This is very dangerous looking. I think I do I need a melon baller. So if you have a melon baller, your life will be so much easier. Looks kind of crazy in there, doesn't it? We're going to try this tool with the next one and see if that's easier, which it probably will be. Is this so much easier, kind of? It's kind of easier. Dang, wish I had done that. What the heck, why are you so smart? Uh, I just thought that looks like it could work. <laughs> I think it's good if we get all the seeds out. Yeah, there's like other one things. more seed in oh, there. Oh, okay. Nice work. You did it. Yeah, I think that looks, looks, I mean, com comparatively. Oh, no. Yeah. Now I'm going to use my cookie dough scoop because I think this will make it easy to... Yeah, this looks like it'll be delicious. I, I think it's going to be really good. And this was really easy. For the most part. I think I'm going to put about two scoops in each one. These do not have like a real Instagram look to them. No, and they're not going to look good once they're done because they're just going to be like gooey. Yes. But they're going to look, I mean, they're, they're going to taste good though. I think so. Let's put them in the slow cooker. So here's our first problem. Our slow cooker will only fit three of these apples comfortably. So what do we yeah. do? Yeah, <laughs> I guess we just do it at like, a, like levels like that because I think oh, that they'll crap. probably like steam up like a nice steamed ham. A nice steamed ham. Oh gosh. And then once they get all mushy, then they'll probably fall down together. I'm also going to put a quarter cup of water in the bottom. And then we're going to put this on high for two hours. All right, well then we're going to set this and forget it until they get um, you know, wrinkly. And now we're gonna make some more fun stuff. But actually, Tim's gonna finish putting up the blinds because right now we're kind of like hodgepodge. in between. Yeah, we have them both up. So, all right, so I finished the blinds over here. I think it looks very nice. You can't see me at all anymore, but it looks like, so bright. yeah, it looks nice. It makes the room brighter, it feels cleaner in here. Also, Jen was needed to feed Jackson and her hair was not up, so I put it up. How does it well, look? look at how good I did. Do I look good? Yeah. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> For dinner, we're having the same thing that we had last night because it's delicious. And then I wanted to show you guys the apples. Pay no attention to America's next top. What is this? Project Runway going on over here. Oh yeah, this looks awesome. Doing good. Even the ones up top are cooking up good. Nice. So a little bit of time has passed. Jackson has gone to sleep and uh, we've been getting lit what? up in here. <laughs> no, like yeah. crazy party. Is that, the, is that a term that kids use these days? It's like lit. We did not, we literally had dinner and now we're gonna eat our apples and we're gonna have some non-alcoholic blush apple sparkling juice. We're so lit right now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, do you guys wanna see these apples? Yes. Oh, how about them apples? Oh, that looks so good. Oh my goodness. Look at that one that like cracked open. Oh, it smells amazing. What do you smell like? Oh, it smells like delicious apple-y goodness. These are not gonna come out in one piece. Oh no, how do we how do we pull them out? I don't know. As, as gingerly as possible. Oh no, you, you dug into one of the other apples. I didn't mean to pull will you hold the plate up for me? Oh it's perfect. Look at that. Wow. Oof. It kinda looks like a tomato. Yeah. But they did you see how they did end up fitting in here? Yeah. Alright, this lighting is very strange. But and this isn't very pretty, like this is not a very pretty looking food, but look at that steam. Let's get a cross section. Wow. Okay, so it's the end of the night, mm -hmm. and we have a few questions for you guys. Wait, before our questions, those apples were so good. Amazing. I'm for sure we're making those again. Oh yeah. It was so easy, it was so super cheap, and like literally we had everything already. So, thumbs up for me, I love them. So now, to our coronavirus question. Oh yeah. So, we've been washing our hands a lot. Yeah. Like a ton. Yes. And then after we wash our hands, we use the towel like to a, dry our hands, a like hand a hand towel. towel. And normally we would, in a situation like this, we would use paper towels because it's disposable, more sanitary. But paper towels are hard to come by. Right. Um, when it's not a situation like this, like a virus situation, we use hand towels because it's better for the environment. Right. Because we can just wash those. But is it not sanitary to use a hand towel? Right, because your hands are clean and we're, we're not like... We wash the hand towels all the time. Yeah, like I, I get a new one every day, but we're using the same hand towel all day. Right. So like, is that dirty? 
Is that... But we're drying our clean hands. Right. But like then the water stays on the towel. Like should we throw it in the dryer to dry it off really quick so it's not just like harboring... I don't know. We're just that's trying... That's not how viruses work, so that's good. <laughs> that's how bacteria works. I'm just trying to stay like completely safe. I know. So I don't know. I just think we have a lot of questions about everything. Also, and I want to ask this question without causing fear, but I'm very curious. Do you think that the closures are going to be longer than two weeks? Yes. Doesn't it feel like this is something bigger? Yeah, it, like just looking at Italy. Not even that. I'm just like, just the way that everybody is responding. So no, what I mean is um, today we learned that all of the college program kids at Disney are being sent home. All of the international program kids at Disney are being sent home. That to me feels like this is longer than a two week thing. Right. And their, uh, what do you call it? Like their, their period of employment or whatever it is. Yeah. Their, their program was supposed to last till the end of May. Right. So like, what does this mean? What does it all mean? No, but seriously, like, what does it mean? So I think that two weeks is the longest period that we have on record for coronavirus to show symptoms. Right. So that's why we are taking a two week break at all of these large gathering places. But they wouldn't send like a, a large portion of their employees home forever. If it was, do you know what I'm saying? Like, right. they're not going to just bring them back over from the UK in two weeks. They might bring back over a whole new group of them. But that's not how it works. The new, the new people come in May. That's what makes me feel like this is going to be more than a two week thing. Like it's going to be a month's thing. Right. And then are we going to be in the situation like China where we're going to be isolated to our homes? Like, is that a thing? I don't know. That's what we're trying to prevent with this social uh, distancing type stuff. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I get that. But like, but with the amount of people that are not taking social distancing, uh, seriously, like up in New York, they were still like packing the bars and the restaurants and everything. I, I feel like there are people here who are not taking it seriously either. And right. that scares me. Right. Like no, no shade to anybody, but like, it is scary to me that mm -hmm. they are not taking it seriously. Right. So I don't know. I'm just, I'm worried, but I don't want to be worried. I don't want to panic. I don't right. want to distress any of you guys. Well, the only like, thing that we can do is we can do what we're supposed to do. Right. And that's social distancing. Correct. Yeah. And like, I, I don't know what all social distancing includes. Cause well, like in my mind, if we go out to a, go on a hike on a nature path, right? that should be fine. Cause there are no other people there. But I could see people saying like, no, you're not, you should be just staying home. What do you guys think? Leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Cause that was something that we talked about. We talked about going on like a hike on a nature trail. Yeah. Cause we wanted to get out of the house, but not affect anybody else. Right. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Like we're genuinely curious, like what your thoughts are. So let us know. Um, and also what are your thoughts on the college program? you know, them sending them home. What are your thoughts on that? What do you think? It, like, what do you think is going to happen? And towels, how do they work? <laughs> yeah, no, but that one, that one for sure. So, but all in all today was a good day. Like I enjoyed it. I, I feel like it was, it was nice to feel normal during this weird time. Yeah. So I don't know. Apples were delicious. The dinner was delicious. Mm -hmm. The blinds look amazing. I think what I'm going to do too, in case you guys are interested in either the apple recipe or the other recipe, I'm actually going to maybe put it in the comments down below if you guys want to check it out. I don't think I can put it in the description because plated closed and I can't link the recipe anymore. Right. So I think I have to like literally type it out. Okay. So I will do that for you guys if you're interested and you want to make it. It, yeah. was, it was delicious and I really highly recommend both. Yeah. So all in all, fantastic day. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Brandon. I'm Adelise. From Tucson, Arizona. And now, now it's, it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.